live with the Cali Thomas Memorial Concert. This is the, an annual event here. We've got all of Fullerton and the rest of the world, whether it's uh, on the internet or in person. We're here with Juan Thomas. This is the man who has set apart um, the situation with his own son to make it count for the whole world so that homeless people and people who have been abused by the police department will never have that situation again. Ron Thomas, you've been through so much and here you are. How did you get through this? What does this mean to you? And how can we, the public, get involved with KTMF.org? Well, that's it exactly. Go to KTMF.org, uh, the website. We have things on there. You can donate. Uh, actually buy merchandise, whatever, a lot of shirts, bracelets, buttons for Kelly, but more importantly is our mission statement, uh, what we do. We bring in uh, clothing, we bring in food, uh, any donations at all, and we help the homeless. Uh, we go into the parks, we go into the streets, uh, we work with the churches, the food banks, and we make it happen for the less fortunate. And I heard that one of the very famous rock stars, Sherry, I believe her name was from the Runaways, she took a log and she carved out with a chainsaw a bench to be auctioned at your event last night. Can you talk about that? Yeah, that's Sherry Curry, lead singer of the Runaways. Uh, incredible uh, story there. But she did. She's a chainsaw artist and she took a single log and made this incredible uh, wooden bench out of it. And it auctioned off last night for uh, $4,500. Amazing. I heard everybody from city officials to the Brady Bunch, Susan Olson was there. Is that true? Well, that is true. Uh, Susan was there, a wonderful person. We talked for quite a while, as I did with uh, uh, Sherry, and uh, a lot of support. Now, uh, Susan also did a painting. It's uh, a very uh, almost graphic painting, but it really tells the artist's message in it. Yeah, so. Uh, city officials, even the chief of police uh, came by, so uh, maybe a thousand people. The biggest art event in Fullerton's history. Now we know you have a memorial uh, ongoing over there at the bus stop. That's been fueled by fans and people all over the world. I hear people come from different parts of the country just to come and uh, commemorate that day. And I also heard that people are calling Kelly Thomas an American son. Uh, that must mean a lot to you. Well, it really does, you know, and folks have come from all over the world to do documentaries. We've had Japan, Germany, you know, Russia. Uh, they've just come from everywhere to do documentaries. The last one's from Paris, France. And uh, that means a lot. There's a lot of support, a lot of worldwide attention and interest in all of this. Uh, brings a lot of awareness to mental illness, brings a lot of awareness to change and what the people can do when they put their minds to it and stick together. We can make a change. I have one last thing. I know that I just heard that IGM Institute at USC out there is going to do a four-month exhibit based on your son's life and experience. Is that true? Well, that is true. They're having a worldwide summit, basically, and they want all this artwork there, and they want us to go and speak and display this. And we're actually talking about this traveling the nation. All right, we're going to leave with this. We've got rock music going on. This is an all-day event. You should be here. It's a happening, and it's free. What, you know, the, the cost that, that Kelly um, paid is for everybody. And I hope you never, ever have a son or a daughter who has to be faced with the same situation as a Thomas family. But I'm going to say one thing. This is a celebration of life. This is a day where Ron is celebrating what this means to everybody. And so tell them once again the website to go to to become a member of Kelly's Army and give your time, your talent, or your treasure. Ron? Well, it's KTMF.org. That's where they need to go to to help everybody. So, and I want to thank everybody uh, that's helped out through this last year and continuing to help in our pursuit for justice. Thank you and goodbye from our wonderful side here in Fullerton, California.